Welcome back to Dropedia Tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach you how to draw John Wick. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. Now first of all, I'm gonna draw his hairline in the middle of his head with a V-shape and at the ending point on both sides an arch curve line to the outer corner at the ending point on the left side a line downwards turn it sideways to the left semicircle turn downwards turn it diagonally inwards to the right turn it upwards and slightly to the right Sharpen downwards at that corner and zigzag line across to the right side of his face. I'm gonna copy the whole thing on the right side of his head. Now in the middle of his face, off center to the left, I'm gonna draw his eyebrow with a short line downwards. Turn it diagonally upwards to the left and slightly downwards at the outer corner of the eyebrow. Sharp turn back to the middle point and slightly upwards. Turn it diagonally downwards to the middle of his face right there. Below the eyebrow, I'm going to draw his eye with diagonal curve line upwards from the inner corner. Sideways to the outer corner on the left. Turn it back diagonally down at the outer corner of the eye. For the lower line of his eye, I'm going to draw a curve line across from the inner corner at this lower point and turn it diagonally upwards at the outer corner of the eye. Inside of the eye, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards on the left corner and another similar curve line on the right corner black dot in the middle of his eye. Copy the whole eyebrow shape and the eye shape on the right side of his face. In the middle of his eye, I'm going to draw an arch curve line. And at the inner corner, on both eyes, curve line downwards, right there. For the tip of his nose, below the eye in the middle point, I'm going to draw a U curve line across. And at the side of that, curve line downwards on both the left and right. At the side of his nose, I'm going to draw a diagonal line downwards and slightly out on both the left and right. And below the nose, I'm going to draw his mustache with a U curve line across. Turn it diagonally down and to the side. Turn it downwards at the side of the mustache. Sharp turn back upwards to the right. Across to the right. A small V shape in the middle. And mirror the whole mustache shape on the right side. Below the mustache, I'm going to draw his mouth with a line across from the left corner to the right. And below that, I'm going to draw in the middle point a triangular shape. Below his eye on both the left and right, I'm going to draw a curve line across. I'm going to draw his ear with curve line downwards at the side of the face right there. At the ending point above, I'm going to draw an arch curve line to the left. Turn it downwards. Semis could turn diagonally inwards at the lower point. Below the ear, I'm going to draw his face shape with curve line downwards. Semis could turn diagonally inwards to the right. Semis could turn on the left side of his chin and curve line across on his chin right there. Copy the whole ear shape and the face shape on the right side. Above his ear, I'm going to draw a curve line upwards on the left corner an arch curve line across to the middle of his head 
turn it downwards in the middle of his head. Mirror the same shape on the right side. In the middle of his head, I'm going to align downwards right there. And at the side of that line, I'm going to draw a few arch curve lines to the side of his head. Like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. Below his head at the side, I'm going to draw his neck with line downwards on both the left and right. And from that ending point, I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line to the middle point and slide it downwards. And I'm going to do the same thing on the right side right there. At the side of the neck, I'm going to draw a line downwards for the color of his inner shirt on both the left and right and below that ending point I'm going to draw the color of his suit with curve line downwards slightly inwards to the middle point and turn it downwards all the way to the, the lowest part of his suit and I'm going to do the same thing on the right side right here now for the color of his inner shirt I'm going to draw a diagonal line downwards and outwards to the left turn it sideways to the left mirror that same shape on the right side below the color I'm going to draw an arch curve line in the middle point turn it diagonally up on both sides and from that same point I'm going to draw a line downwards and slightly out and to the lowest point of the necktie and I'm going to do the same thing on the right side right here. And for the lower part of the necktie, I'm going to draw a V-shape. Now for the color of his suit, at the side of his inner shirt, I'm going to draw a curve line diagonally downwards and to the left. Turn it sideways to the right. And from the line on the right side of that ending point, I'm going to draw a diagonal line downwards and to the left turn it inwards to the middle point and diagonally downwards mirror the same shape of the color on the right side now below his ear I'm going to draw the lower part of his hair with curve line downwards Curl it outwards at the lower point. Sharp turn back to the right at the lower point. I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side. Now for his shoulder at the side of his collar, a diagonal line out and to the left, slightly downwards. Same as the turn downwards at the side of his shoulder. And from the top left corner of his shoulder, diagonal line downwards and inwards to the right same as if turn downwards flare it out on his elbow point and turn it back inwards flare it back outwards below that and turn it downwards all the way to his sleeve and flare it slightly out at the sleeve right there the outer line of his arm, I'm going to continue the line on the left downwards, turn it inwards at the elbow point and flare it back outwards. Same as could turn downwards all the way to the sleeve of his suit. Curve line across to the right at that corner and below that I'm going to draw the sleeve of his inner shirt with the line downwards on both the left and right at the inner corner and curve line across in the middle point. Now on the right side of his arm, I'm going to draw the side of his suit with curve line downwards and slightly to the right. Flare it back outwards below the waist and on the level of his sleeve, I'm going to turn it sideways to the middle and to the right. Same as I could turn upwards all the way to the ending point of the suit from the top right there on the left side of that I'm going to draw his button with a circular shape at this upper point and another one below that at that corner 
On the left side of that button, I'm going to draw the pocket of his suit with a rectangle shape at that corner. And above that rectangle shape on the right corner, a line upwards right there. I'm going to copy the same shape of the suit on the right side. Below the necktie, in the middle point of his suit, I'm going to draw his buckle. I'm going to draw the buckle of his belt with a line across. Turn it downwards on the right corner. Turn it back sideways to the left. Turn it downwards. At that ending point, I'm going to draw a rectangular shape. And below that, continue the line downwards, sideways to the right short line downwards, turn it sideways all the way to the left and turn it upwards all the way to that ending point above. On the right side of the buckle, I'm going to draw a rectangular shape at that corner and on the right side of that, a line across at the upper corner and another one at the lower corner. I'm going to do the same thing on the left side of the buckle and below the belt, I'm going to draw in the middle point a curved line across. And below that, I'm going to draw the inner line of his left leg with curved line downwards and slightly to the left. Flare it slightly out to the right and turn it diagonally in and to the left. Below that, curved line downwards. Flare it slightly out below the anchor point and turn it downwards, flare it back slightly out, sharp turn back upwards on the left side, and arch curve line across to the left side of his pants. For the outer line of that leg, I'm going to draw another curve line downwards below the suit on the left corner, turn it slightly inwards to the right, flare it slightly out, and turn it back inwards on his knee point. Below that, curve line downwards and turn it slightly inwards to the left and towards his ankle point. Flare it out on his ankle point to the left, turn it downwards and flare it slightly out. Below the pants, I'm going to draw his shoe with curve line diagonally downwards and out on both the left and right. Same as a good turn on both sides to the middle diagonal line to the middle point and downwards curve line across in the middle of the shoe right there inside of his shoe I'm going to draw some knots with curve line across in the middle point right there and another similar curve line slightly below that at the ending point on both the left and right I'm going to draw a semicircle line Repeat that same set of shape again, this lower point, and in between the two knots, I'm going to draw off center, line downwards on the left corner, right there, and below the last knot, continue that line downwards, semicircle turn to the side, and turn it downwards. I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. Below the shoe, I'm going to draw a line downwards on the left and right. And I'm going to trace the same set of line below for the base of the shoe. Now for his right leg, curve line diagonally downwards for the outer line and slightly to the right. Semicircle turn diagonally in on his knee point. 
and below the knee point another curve line downwards fly it slightly out above the ankle turn it back inwards diagonally and turn it back out to the right curve line across to the left and slightly downwards turn it sideways to the left for the inner line of that leg I'm gonna draw a diagonal line downwards in the middle point flare it slightly out behind the knee and turn it diagonally inwards below that below that I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards and flare it slightly out turn it downwards and to the right turn it downwards to the ending point of the pants at that corner for the right shoe on the right side I'm gonna draw a diagonal line downwards and to the right turn it sideways to the right and to the front tip of the shoe same is good turn downwards at the front tip of the shoe and for the back part curve line downwards on the left corner and from the back I'm gonna draw a curve line across all the way to the front tip of the shoe right there below that from the front a short line downwards turn it sideways to the left turn it slightly upwards in the middle point right there a short line downwards curve line across to the left and turn it upwards for the shoe knots I'm gonna draw on the top right corner curve line across to the left and another curve line across slightly below that at the ending point on the left semicircle line right there repeat the same set of shape slightly below that and in between the two knots I'm gonna draw a diagonal line downwards and to the right continue that line above and at the lower point semicircle turn to the left and curve it downwards now for his right hand I'm gonna draw the sleeve of his inner shirt similar to the one on the left and below that for his hand curve line downwards on the right corner turn it diagonally to the left and sideways to the left semicircle turn back to the right and up diagonal turn to the right curve line upwards and slightly to the left turn it downwards and to the left same as a turn back upwards on the left corner flare it out at the side of his palm and curve line back towards his sleeve right there now for his left hand below the sleeve at the outer corner on the left curve line downwards same as a turn diagonally to the right at that ending point I'm gonna draw the top part of this weapon with a rectangular shape and inside of that I'm gonna draw a small rectangular shape at the upper corner and a square shape below that above I'm gonna draw a small rectangular shape right there on the right side of that I'm gonna draw a short line out and to the right a line downwards and extend it further downwards across to the left and turn it back upwards on the left side of the weapon inside of that shape I'm going to draw at the upper corner a rectangular shape and below that another small rectangular shape at that corner below that whole thing I'm going to draw a short line downwards off center on both the left and right right there and below that I'm going to draw a small rectangular shape across and below that I'm going to draw a long rectangular shape downwards at that corner for his thumb below the sleeve of his inner shirt I'm going to draw a short line downwards 
turn it diagonally to the right, turn it downwards, and turn it diagonally to the left. And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time.